Welcome to our new edition of Health Spies and Life Show, El Cafecito Corner. This is our newest edition, and this is Dr. Mario speaking to you today. And I want to thank you first and foremost for all of you who've been coming to the shows and sending us comments, asking questions, sharing it with friends and family, posting the different comments that you have. We really have appreciated that, and it's just making this completely worthwhile. And it's awesome just to see the different people asking the questions, how this is changing your life. And as you know, every single time I'm going to be asking you, I want to know. And if you're not watching this live, that's okay. You can actually see the video, watch it, whether it's on YouTube. In fact, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, go over there so you can do that and not to miss out on some of the posts that we're doing and all the different shows that we're posting. And if you're here on Facebook, just give us a thumbs up, share it with others, put it on your timeline, on your stories, so that all the other people can see it. As you know, this show is for one billion of us who are of Latino origin or love the Latino culture. So you don't have to be Latino to be here because what we talk about, it's about life. Today, I want to talk about something that is rather personal. And it's, it has to do with a story, which I'm going to be telling you in a few seconds here, that really touched my life and completely changed how I started to consider a lot of things that have happened to me. You see, as you know, I am a physician. I have been practicing medicine for 25 years. I had the opportunity to go to Harvard, to go to Yale, Columbia universities to get my training. But ultimately, the most impactful part of my life is everything that has happened because of being in touch with other human beings. And that is the reason why Health Spice and Life Show is here, because there's still a billion of us that do not have true representation on American TV. And it is this vision and mission of mine that we have to connect, be able to get all the information out, have this common experiences be shared so that ultimately the quality of our lives across the hemisphere and all of those who are watching the show on the other side of the world can benefit from this collective sharing that we're doing here in this platform through the Health Spice and Life Show. But as you know, this is El Cafecito Corner. So if you're at home and you're watching the show right now, or maybe you're driving, or maybe you're in your office, wherever you may be, I hope that you have a little drink, whether it's a tea or in my case, un cafecito. So a tu salud. By the way, wow, that's amazing. Um, this is a little bit like a chocolate and cocoa flavor. I was drinking a similar coffee uh, when I was doing the Spanish version of the show, and this is just amazing today. I hope that whatever you're drinking is just making you feel just as joyous as me uh, enjoying mine. And I want to share actually something really funny that happened. Um, I had somebody reach out and say, Dr. Mario, are you actually drinking coffee? Do you, do you have something? Somebody had a question whether, in fact, uh, there was something or not. And yes, I am because I wouldn't be able to fake out the experience of drinking something that tastes so good. So once again, a tu salud. That's fantastic. As I was telling uh, you earlier, I have a story for you um, which really changed my life. And before I get into it, let me know if you're watching right now live, where are you watching from? It doesn't matter if you're calling, if you're checking in from Cuba, or if you're from Puerto Rico, or if you're from Miami, or if you're actually in Madrid, Spain right now, it doesn't matter. I really care to know where everybody's checking in. So all of you watching right now, just let me know. Hey, just send a wave. This is where I'm at right now. Love to actually call you out and say hello to you. A few years, a few years ago, I had the opportunity, had the opportunity to, to take care of take this girl. She was 27, 27 years old. I get called by my team. And she, was, she came to the hospital to have a, a surgical procedure done, which I was doing on her at the time. I had never met her before. And so I went to say hello to her and so on. And as I'm going through her medical record before doing the procedure, I realized that she had a diagnosis of breast cancer. And I said, okay, let me just go and, and, and see her and check in and see what's going on and talk to her about the procedure, what we're going to do with her permission and so on. So I did. And uh, as it turns out, yes, she had breast cancer. She had a terminal stage uh, diagnosis at the time. So the cancer had gone into multiple areas of her body. And in fact, not that many months had been given uh, for her to live by other physicians caring for her. 
And she started to share how she was feeling about this and the fact that she was going to be coming to an end in her life as she knew it. She had been married slightly less than two years, so she was very concerned about that. She didn't have any children. But she was profoundly worried about that particular aspect of her life. She started to cry as she was sharing it. I couldn't hold my tears, and I started to cry with her. And as we're crying and we became a little more uh, calm so we could talk again, I asked her something. I said, do you mind if I ask you a question? And she says to me, sure. And I said to her, what, what is the worst thing about what you're going through right now? And she said, doctor, I'm afraid. And I said to her, what are you afraid of? And she said, I am afraid of missing out. I am afraid of all the things that I won't be able to do with my husband. I'm afraid of all the days that I will miss as a young woman, as I said, she was 27. And I won't see my parents, I won't see my siblings. I won't be able to travel to places where I've been wanting and to go to and I've had dreams of going to. All of that will be gone for me. And I had a profound realization about that and what she was going through. And that's what's called FOMO. And while I completely understand and feel and sympathize with her condition, because that's, you know, somebody is dying. I also understood something profound that I had not discovered through many years of being a, a doctor and going through medical school. And something that, that we as physicians, as people, don't really talk much about. And is that the fear of missing out. You see, it doesn't, you don't need to have a diagnosis of a terminal condition like metastatic breast cancer to be living in a state of fearing of missing out. Many people completely healthy by conventional standards, they're living in that state of missing out. I'll give you an example. Right now we're living through the times of coronavirus, right? And in the beginning, many people thought, well, it's gonna be great, I'm not gonna have to work. I'll be at home, it will be like a mini vacation, and then everything will just you know, go back to normal really quickly and done. Well, the fact of the matter is, we've been in this process here in the United States at least two months, and we still don't see any insight for many places. So we started to get collectively, as a group of people, anxious of what was it that we're gonna be doing with all of this time. And all the things that we could not do or we were not going to do or the plans that had to be canceled because we're not gonna be able to get out. And I started to really connect once again now with that experience and understanding at a pretty deep level that it's not just about the fear, right? But it's about what is the decision and how can I be on the other side of that coin, if you will on the Jomo side, or the joy, the joy of missing out. In other words, are you going to make a decision right now that even if I am going to be missing out on X or Y, the very opportunity that I have in front of me to do life in a different way, it's something that I can turn into a joyous moment. And I'll give you a personal example. For quite a while, I have been doing a lot of travel as part of my professional engagements. And as it turns out, that translated into not being around with my family, not being able to see my kids, not being able to see my wife. That has been tough at times. When this process of coronavirus came about, I was excited in the very beginning, just like everybody else, because I was able to slow down. But then as the week started to go on, at times I was feeling pretty anxious, like, Okay, what am I going to do with myself now? How am I going to use the time? I can't really go to the places that I would like to go to. Nobody can travel. Life got completely changed. But what that opportunity afforded me was the gift to simply be with my wife, connect with her in ways that I had not been able to, to be able to be with my children, one of which is she's eight and my son is two years old, and have the opportunity to be right there, to see them grow 
to hug them, to kiss them, to tell them how much I love them, to play with them, something as simple as that. You see, one of the biggest things that we can do when we are in this state of fear of missing out is just coming back to saying, what is the gift in this very moment? The calling that you may be receiving is to give that time to yourself, which you might have been running away from. You gotta think and consider how many times have you been in a situation where you simply said, you know what, I I can't deal with this. Let me just go and have a beer at a, at a bar. Let me just go and let me go and go for a run. Let me just listen to some music and simply block the world out. This opportunity that is leading so many people to the fear of missing out. You that are watching and just having this conversation with me here at the Cafecito Corner is a great opportunity to say, okay, how can I completely transform this fear, this anxiety that I'm feeling to a moment of joy? And I wanna bring all of this to what's happening medically, what's happening to your health? Because you see, you can absolutely make a choice between I wanna be in the FOMO or I wanna be a JOMO. Your body, your health, everything is connected to the state you're in when you're in fear. And your immune system, your defenses are impacted by that. In my 25 years of practicing medicine, I have seen what many people would consider miracles. I have seen the, wow, we, we just can't explain how that person became better because everything that we were seeing was just so bad that there was no chances that we could say she or he was gonna get better, and they did. And I guarantee you that many of those cases, they were in this state, state of joy, state of love. Your body reacts to that. When you're feeling depressed, anxious, upset, your heart acts differently, your brain is a different state, your immune system, your defenses go down. This has been documented over and over. And yet, even when we talk about those things, we still get stuck on this. So I'm gonna extend an invitation to you right now. I want you to imagine, close your eyes for a second, just imagine what things you can do right now in the state that the world is in. Three things that you can imagine that could change right now because you're gonna decide that the moment that is worth the most to you is this one. The one that may not let you go to the beach, the one that may not let you go to the restaurant you like, the one that may not let you go to that party that you wanted to attend. And yet, what can I do with this moment? How am I gonna choose this to be a huge gift? As I have said in other segments, a moment to reinvent yourself, reinvent you right now that will translate in the experience of health that you're having how that is feeling for you and it will completely change the experience of all the people around you wherever you may be watching from those that are watching live let me know where you're from where you're watching from so that i can at least say hi and recognize the uh, places you're coming in from and if you're liking this give it a thumbs up and share it because a lot of us have experienced that state of fomo the fear of missing out as opposed to saying how could this be the biggest thing that I can change to a state of JOMO? The joy of missing out, I'm making that choice. Lastly, as we get close to the end of the show, I want to call you out for something so that you can consider this. What are those three things that you're gonna do right now, today, not tomorrow, maybe a week from now, that today you're gonna just go and take with you from the show, from this segment, that are going to impact that state of FOMO to a state of joy. Tell me three things, share with the community here at the Health Spice and Life show that are the gifts that you're seeing right now that you had not considered through the story of somebody who was having terminal cancer, who was afraid of that. That's a huge gift that that woman has given us for this show today, which I think, and I know, just like it has happened for me, can change your experience of yourself and more importantly, how you impact the world and how those around you receive you and experience you. I care to know that if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead over there, subscribe, follow us, write comments. If you're watching this video after the live broadcast, it's okay. I still wanna know who you are. Send us a message, ask us questions so that we know what's going on in the community and we can address that and also get some ideas to talk to you in future. Uh, episodes of the show. 
I am Dr. Mario, and I want to say lastly, from my heart to your heart, this is Dr. Mario that says to you, a tu salud. I'll see you soon. Ciao.